Hello. Let's play some. Let's mute. I thought you'd be taller. I'm sorry. Forgive my manners. They call me Tongue. Perhaps you've heard of me. Knowing who you are, however, is what I'm paid for. I know who you are. I've heard you've been asking about the Tower of Fangs. Quite carelessly, I might add. But if you'd like a more definitive answer to such an ambiguous question, useful after you I must apologize for this perceived dishonesty open the gate now not yet I'm afraid I cannot ask you to perform the task at hand without knowing you are competent enough to complete it what the hell are you talking about? mr. Mirage offers you information about the whereabouts of one captain who, as you probably already know, is the only one to return from the town. And what does Mr. Mirage want? Nothing, for the moment. Mr. Mirage... Why the trap? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Mr. Mirage is very... ritualistic. When it... Yes. Then you'll find him with his party in seclusion south of here. Less than a mile, to be more... precise. He's built a camp within a small village there. I recommend inquiring about the... Not now. What kind of test was this? The kind you live to complain about, apparently. Which leaves me with the pleasure of announcing that Mr. Mirage would like to make you an offer. What if I'm not interested? While your hesitance might be considered measurably understandable, Suggesting that Mr. Mirage isn't the type of person one should consider refusing. <sighs> You've made several inquiries into a series of murders that recently took place. I have. 
then it's safe to assume you know that eight years ago Mr. Mirage inherited control of Hatmandor's underground. He cut his way to the top. In a manner of speaking. Before Mr. Mirage received his inheritance, he was forced to remove Tors Darum, his predecessor. Several of his followers have... I heard. He had them... After we cleansed Darum's residence, Mr. Mirage later discovered a stone left unturned. A boy. A son. He wasn't accounted for. Someone was silenced in his stead. Darum's nephew. The resemblance was striking. So close, in fact, that by the time we discovered our... Error. Dar and now you think that he's... Yes, this is Mr. Mirage's assumption. And you want me to... To correct this error. And in return... Money, of course. It's worth noting that the good faith he's shown thus far is extended to relevant financial matters as well. Furthermore, if... I'll do it. Good. You should begin with Zask, the only remaining Darum loyalist left by both our target and our employer. Why was he spared? Mr. Mirage wisely assumed that if Darum's son returned to the city, he'd contact Zask. He's been monitored ever since. Then why bother? We're simply interested in knowing if we missed something, so it is part of your task to discover this before our situation escalates. This is espionage, not an interrogation. Convince him to trust you. Tell me more about- He had dark hair. His name was Daniel. Though time has a way of- Tell me- His appearance betrays his age in a least ideal fashion. While he's quite old, he appears ancient. He crafts armor and weapons from his- It seems I have work to do. It seems you do- Better be worth it. What's this? Hey, you! The commander told me to give you these keys. Keys? Yeah, keys to the gates. We cut off several parts of the desert because of the barn infestation. 
Unfortunately, they've taken control of some of our outposts. Now, any. Yes. I guarantee the highest level of quality and pride. I saved Nothing thousands of auras buying in bulk from the New shipment oh, yeah. just arrived from aspiring young craftsmen. Don't get left with last year's. Wares. Be ahead of the top. And trends hey. with these revolutionary times. <sighs> Watch where you're going, son. Whatever you want, whatever you need. Come on, come on. Clumsy fool. Let us mourn. He was my son. Please! 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 Wait! Leave him alone! Excuse me? My brother Azar! They're burying him alive! You're sure? <laughs> 